okay trade has been made this is what i traded my little honda generator for i'll post up a short of this which will come out much more sooner than this video but uh, here it is it's a troy built 13 gear i don't know what necessarily classifies it as a 13 gear but it's uh definitely an interesting looking machine um story goes they were using it it cooked the original engine so he put this engine here in second story goes which i do fully believe the guy i'm not saying i don't doubt his story at all second story is about between five and ten hours on the engine transmission went the guy was very honest i have absolutely no reason to doubt anything he says the engine super tight compression see it's trying to start i don't know if there's a mouse nest in there i don't really want to start it um he says he never tried starting it since he pulled it out of the garage basically took it out of the garage and it was time for it to go sort of thing the missing deck apparently it rotted out which i believe that definitely a common issue my plans with it I would like to try and fix the transaxle. It's got what looks to be a five or six speed. I think it's a uh, five speed. I might have one. Let's take a quick peek. I have this one right here. I don't know anything about it. I don't even know where I got it from. It does have a brake. I don't know anything. So, about this at least, this could potentially go in there if it's the same style. Because as you can see, this one has really weird bolt patterns right towards the inside. But, this one might be fixable. As you can see, it is turning. I think it broke the key. So, I think he possibly broke the shear key in the transmission. I think. Really, the only way to test that is for me to put my hand on top, spin it, and see if the shaft for the transmission actually spins. If you put the machine in gear, it doesn't roll. And then actually, you can hear it turning the turning the input, you can hear it turning the uh, input shaft. So that could still mean a broken key. So the idea is to try and fix the transaxle. Because this could be resold as a yard tractor or as an off-roader project, anything. It is rear tank, so that's kind of so-so, uh, you know what I'm saying on that. But it could still be sold off to somebody and used. So that's the idea. Uh, first off, get the other Troy built done. Then move on to this one. First, I'd like to see what's wrong with it and get an idea of what's wrong with it. And then uh, decide if it's going to go straight on the trailer for scrap or if I'm going to make an attempt at trying to fix it. So that's my plan and that's probably what I'm going to stick to on this. It is separate throttle and choke. I don't know if the separate throttle and choke are hooked up. Let's just take a quick peek. Also, clean oil. Also, clean air filter. He said the air filter is original from whenever the engine was put in. Yep, it's using a separate choke, which isn't a huge deal. Luckily, the engine that will be going in here is already set up for a separate choke or a single choke. Uh, I will be using single choke and single cable on the other machine. So, we'll go from there. I don't know if the headlights work. Possibly an engine only running headlights, hard to say. Um, actually, let's let your PTO works. That's kind of a good thing. But there we go. Troy build, uh, 13 gear, parts tractor, primarily for the engine. But it might end up becoming more in the end. We'll have to wait and see, see how much damage there is to the transaxle. I don't plan on spending too much money on this, if, if anything at all. This will simply be what it is. And if I can get it running and driving for cheap, that's the plan. Unfortunately, the hood does have a boo-boo right here. 
but it does have a piece of steel right there. I was originally thinking about fiberglassing that over. That is still a possibility. Just to make it look that much better. But we'll have to wait and see. He did drain the fuel out of it. That's a good thing. So hopefully I have a good carburetor. I just bought a carburetor for one of these engines. And actually I just bought two of them for one, for these types of engines. Hopefully I don't have to buy a third. But the fuel pump will stay with the machine. The fuel pump, all the fuel lines will stay. Unfortunately, this air intake rate, or sorry, the uh, first part of the breather will have to stay with the machine. I'll have to swap it with the other one to make that work, to make the fuel pump work, as long as, <coughs> as long as I get the transmission working, and we'll go from there. So that's uh, pretty much it. So I'll talk to them later. Please keep it redneck like always, and uh, please subscribe and comment.